What is up guys, Mac Speed coming at ya. A little bit different of an episode today than the tried and true airgun stuff that you've come to expect on this channel. Today we're gonna be taking a look at the ticket magnet and what it actually needs to get on the road as our range car. It's gonna require me to go to the junkyard because parts for these old obsolete cars are absolutely through the roof as far as price point is concerned. All I think I need to get this thing going right is a mass airflow meter. The other day I went to move the thing and it started doing this. Typically, if you know anything about old turbo Volvos, for the most part, in general, if everything's working halfway decent, they just run forever. Mine has 243,000 miles or so, and it's been great to me up to this point. The thing that actually makes me think it's a mass airflow sensor in this case, guys, is the fact that if I unplug the mass airflow sensor, it runs markedly better, even though it starts to incrementally climb in RPM as it continues to run. No matter what, it's not in a roadworthy condition and I do wanna to get to the bottom of this because I do need a valid range car, right? So I figured I would take you guys along with me today and we would go and make a junkyard adventure out of this, searching for the fabled mass airflow meter. Let's get right into it. As you saw, we weren't able to actually find something that matches what my car's make and model actually is, which is the Volvo 760 Turbo. A lot of newer cars in the yard today, and honestly, it's a trend that I've seen over the last few years that I've gone to the junkyards. The older cars have just died out. The cash for clunkers thing took such a toll on all the guys who were trying to restore these old 80s cars because all of a sudden, these two and $300 buckets became worth twelve dollars to $1,500 for the state of California to buy them off the road. Ultimately, it makes it very difficult to try and restore a daily driver if you have one of those 80s hot rods like I do, but by the same token, it's good for the environment to get the uh, old, less efficient cars off the road, so I guess it is what it is. In other news, guys, we're just a couple of weeks away from that S45 from Bintac. Honestly, I cannot wait for my brand new S45 semi-automatic PCP air rifle to be delivered from Survival Air Guns. I did go ahead and purchase this, but by the same token, I think that it's a worthy enough purchase to go ahead and spend the coin on it. I've already got hundreds of rounds of 45 caliber ammunition in that 457 sizing from Lucky 7 air ammo. So other than having the actual S45 air rifle in my hands itself, I'm 100% ready to shoot these episodes for you guys. I know it's not the typical episode for this channel, but I did want to kind of keep you guys updated on something that we have been low-key taking a look at over the last few months. If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe for more with that notifications button so that you can stay current on the channel as well as when these videos come out. If you really like these videos, make sure you share it so that somebody else can see it and I'll catch you boys in the next one.